Hi Virgo, what's up? This is going to be a career reading, business career reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate with every Virgo watching this video. And uh, if you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Yeah? Overall energy, Knight of Cups in reverse. Are you trying to avoid a confrontation of some sort? Okay, That's someone who just keeps things within themselves, whether they're happy or not at work. Looks like you're not happy at work. There's something that you want to talk about, something that you need to speak out. Uh, more like a confrontation is what I'm getting. Okay, But you're being very naive right now. You're trying to avoid a confrontation as much as you can just to maintain the peace. But this is something that's going to backfire. Okay, It's going to take a toll on your mental health and your emotions are going to be absolutely out of control if you continue this. Get some kind of tact, some kind of diplomacy, okay? And get your way out. Get some creative solution if you can. <coughs> Ace of Swords. You have an idea or you can like... Okay. Just let me <coughs> remove the cards for you. And then we'll have a look at this. I hope you guys can see the cards. Let me just lay them out and then... <clears throat> Just going to show them a little. That's your overall energy, which I'm going to put here. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. I feel there's something that you're giving up on. Okay. <clears throat> on your um, mind consciously maybe you want to expand your career you want to look into your growth okay but there are some obstacles in your career or your business okay you feel that lack of growth you know you feel you feel you uh, you're being caged this is some kind of frustration stagnation okay that you're feeling or you feel there are some kind of rejecting opportunities okay uh, probably there are opportunities that are being presented to you okay but uh, you're rejecting them, okay? Most of them have to do with going overseas, you know? There may be things that you wanted to explore, but you might feel boxed is what I'm getting, okay? Like you feel like you, you need to let your chances go, okay? But you're not even capitalizing on them. Almost like you didn't get a chance to, okay? Maybe you had a, ch uh, um, a chance to go somewhere else, you know, for a new job or expand your business globally or something, but you're turning things down. <clears throat> if not, if you have not recently made such decisions, then <coughs> excuse my throat. It could be that your frustration and your annoyance with this lack of progression in this current scenario or challenge, it's taking a toll on you. Okay. Literally, I'm getting someone who feels like their wings are clipped. <coughs> if you go to see subconsciously, I feel you're not even happy where you are. You're not happy with you are. You're feeling very unmotivated right now. Very bored at your job, okay? Probably your colleagues, your boss, okay? There's like this very hostile, very unfriendly environment. You know, um, if you're searching for a new position, you know, you're going to probably, there's some disappointment. They may, there may be some negative emotions surrounding your network, okay? Probably you may find that the frustration and obstacles, okay? Uh as well as this feeling of emptiness. So this is already there, okay, in your current environment, like I said, the frustration. But now, not only are you feeling that, but for some reason, you're also feeling very uninspired, unmotivated at work. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups is also something that rules relationships, right? So it's like probably I'm getting something where the co-workers or your boss can be less friendly, they're less helpful right now, okay? So do what you best, uh, do what you can best, okay? To, it's like a storm you need to know how to deal with it okay just find that motivation wherever possible so yeah but you're pretty upset with where you are at and it's all uh, just eating you from within <clears throat> right now i feel that you are looking for the um you know you want clear communication i think that's the need of the art okay clear communication is the need of the art here uh this is either you're looking for a new job Okay, you're wanting to get into a new position or a new career that can bring you that intellectual stimulation. Okay, maybe your environment, you know, is not challenging enough. 
you want something that uh, offers you a lot of encouragement to grow your mind your skills okay and you're likely uh, you know wanting to discuss new ideas okay and communication you want very smooth communication but again more than anything i'm feeling having that clear vision of what you want to do okay that's what's coming into the current situation if it hasn't yet it will remember all these readings are predictive okay so if you haven't experienced this you will be experiencing this okay you want to be able to express the vision you know that is going to be very helpful to you in the near future but your biggest challenge out here is that <clears throat> i feel that you are spending more time in your head for some reason okay there is some kind of you feel very trapped very restricted victimized i'd say okay very helpless uh in the current situation right now you're feeling suffocated you know and uh you probably have this huge dependence on this current job okay and you feel you can't change your career you have that fear of job changes that is your biggest block it out you the immediate challenge is what i'd say okay you need to if you want this kind of clarity if this is what you're looking for your biggest um blockage is that you uh you really need to find a way to release that anxiety about your career okay things could be a little difficult okay your vision probably is very clouded from stress or fear okay this is someone who's paralyzed by fear right what you need to do is um you you need to get that hope back you definitely need to get that hope back okay you need to uh resign yourself from that idea that you're trapped okay and you need to understand that if you if you look at things from a more uh, from a more open minded uh uh say open minded view you are going to find that there were a lot of other opportunities that you were not seeing okay this is someone who's creating thoughts and scenarios in their head thinking of the worst case scenario okay and that's your biggest challenge that you need to get out of your head probably the scenario is not as bad as you think it is okay because you're not only negative consciously but you're very negative subconsciously also and this probably is to do with your relationships within your uh, work and this is more like where you're feeling that box like i said you could have been okay in the past year you know with the six of pentacles you think could have been okay there was like this generosity you know there was a lot of material help there was equal giving and receiving you know you could have been dealing with people you know who are literally helping you out you know a senior person at workplace okay who was ready to help you achieve your career goals okay a mentor who was very generous with you you know <clears throat> and uh your workplace was putting you in a very high value you know and um even if even if it was a new job right uh the changes were even better than you expected okay and if this was your own job i feel there were good investors or folks that were willing to help you grow your business so yeah that all looks good but right now with the current scenario all you're looking for is clarity right now okay and that clarity is not going to come in unless and until you get out of your head you know so that's something that you need to do right now you have too much dependence on a job where you feel trapped you need to break that okay and the ace of swords is something which is asking you like break free you need that breakthrough you need that clear communication that clarity okay in the near future if you don't break out of this because i see you as mis pretty miserable right now if you don't break out of this there's going to be this career stagnation okay you're going to come to a halt you're going to lose all your chances and you're going to be very overwhelmed by your job okay so be very careful about that this is basically uh you know either you're not going to move too fast in your job in the near future or you can just move too quickly all right whichever take what it resonates but in the near future i feel you need to take a stock of how you feel okay if you're going to if you are frustrated by a sense of stagnation you know then this is because you're going to have a lot of missed opportunities because you're failing to act in time and that's something that i'm getting because all out here right these are all reversal cards which means that you're just not ready to take that action that energy is too retracted you need to take action <clears throat> you could be feeling very overwhelmed by what people are asking of you or something like that okay but um you need to learn to handle uh, if you're in a new job you need to learn to handle new responsibilities okay but it is going to take time and patience so if you're in a hurry about something it's not going to work but to me if i'm looking at this <coughs> is the, at the spread i feel if you're going to choose to stick in this energy this this entire thing that you're talking that, that we're looking at something's going to be missed opportunity and things are going to come to a complete halt okay so be very careful about that the way you see yourself is the four of swords in reverse so i feel you're definitely reaching a point of exhaustion a point of burnout okay <clears throat> you're going to reach that point of you're going to reach that point of burnout 
exhaustion because you're going to keep thinking okay i feel here because in your emotions with the seven of wands here i feel you have this thing of where you need to constantly you know guard yourself you know you need to protect yourself could be from the people could be from protecting your position could be for standing up for yourself defending yourself protecting your territory whatever right and that itself is stressing you out because you're not ready to you know have that clear conversation Okay, there's a lot of challenges that you're going to be facing and this is all in your emotions. That's what you're constantly feeling. I'm getting a lot of, uh, you're probably a little frightened also. Okay, it doesn't have to be anything negative. But what I'm saying is that, you know, you are capable of solving the issues, okay, that you have. But you need to face them, okay. Others may be attacking you or, you know, someone's jealous of your position, okay. You need to embrace your inner confidence and you need to proceed without fear. Okay, this is challenges either to your position or to your morals, okay, which is more going to be more common. But if you have the strength to push past any fears or concerns, uh, you're going to be able to stand up for yourself, okay, and your beliefs. But yeah, I think with the seven of wands here, it doesn't look very positive to me because here, I feel you feel the need to guard yourself because everyone's coming at you. You know, you're getting that paranoid, you know, you're getting that into that defensive mode and that's driving you nuts here with the four of swords in reverse here. It's just driving you crazy. You're going restless. You're reaching that point of exhaustion and burnout. <clears throat> I think uh, your stress levels are completely, you know, um, out of balance. You need to give yourself a much needed break, which I don't think you're getting. If you are in a bit, maybe you're ready to come out. But I feel this is more of like, you know, where you're uh, constantly, uh, your coping strategies with stress are horrible. You're not giving yourself that time, you know, to, um, you're, you're doing things on your own, you know, which is like, you know, probably people don't know you're on a break, but you've completely isolated yourself, you know, you've completely kept yourself lonely. So people don't really know what's going on and it's eating you within. Okay. You need to reduce your stretch, your stress. I need to make, uh, take some more care of yourself, okay? Because this is going to affect your health. You need to be more refreshed, more rejuvenated and take a break probably. But a break does not mean always um, a physical break. This is more of a mental break to me. <clears throat> because in your mind, you're on this constant, in your emotions, you're on this constant guard up, you know, like, I don't know who's coming towards me, etc. You know, you always feel, you know, like how they say, right? Uh, the, the, the people who protect, like people who guard right they always have to be alert right i feel you're always alert you're always on guard and that's what's uh giving you those restless nights <coughs> in your environment i do see uh, someone who is very stern okay with the king of swords this is someone cold but this is someone who's also who's going to challenge you to do your best um this may be someone who's stern i said okay but um this is someone with very high standards okay and they want this in their work. So this could be a boss or a colleague or a manager or a senior that you're dealing with. Okay. But they are going to challenge you to do the best of what you can because they are very true to their principles. Uh, this is someone you can take good advice from. Okay. And if you do, you'll be able to progress very far in your career. <clears throat> you can also be at a point of a career where, you know, you give yourself and other high standards, right? But I'm getting more like, you know what, this is someone who has those routines and processes, you know, and someone who's very strict and stern. Like I said, right, someone who you may find this person a little cold, a little detached, okay, someone who's very, very um, unemotional because they only deal with logic. They don't deal with reasoning, logic, they're very rational, disciplined, very more, very serious kind of person, okay? So yeah, very strict. But that's someone you keep uh, talking to and probably this is your issue, okay? You're probably not expecting this kind of behavior from this person. Honestly, this is not someone who's trying to be irrational or who's a dictator, okay? This is just someone who's, uh, <clears throat> what can I say? Stern, like I keep saying the word, right? They're very strict. They have very high standards and they want it their way, okay? They're not going to accept no for an answer and they have their own principles. They have their own structure. And if you're not within those, they're going to make your life miserable. Yeah, but in a good way. Maybe they, this is something that you need to learn from them. <clears throat> in your likely outcome, I feel there is going to be this job hopping that I see. Okay, page of swords in reverse. 
there's going to be either office gossip which i don't get too much but i feel you're going to be very unsure about your future career okay maybe you are job hopping maybe you're someone who doesn't stick to one career okay because you don't stick enough in a place you don't commit to a career or a job or a business enough to know whether it is meant for you or not you probably have a lot of energy and curiosity okay but in the near as the outcome in the near future i feel it's not really getting directed at anything okay there's just no outlet it seems like you can't quite make up your mind what it is you actually want to do for your future okay you may move from one job to the next you know when you get bored or when you decide it's not for you but the problem here is like i said right to re- to really get the full depth and the experience of working somewhere you will need to commit your commit for a little more longer Okay. So yeah, you do have big ideas, okay, but there's no follow through. There's no follow through, and without action, nothing comes to fruition. So you need to get working because with the page of swords in reverse here, definitely it looks like either you're not happy, <coughs> not happy in a career, something's going to come to a complete halt, and you're either going to leave this job, let this job go, or you're just going to be like, I don't know what to do with this job, and you're still going to stick around because you want to stay in that safety of that job, okay. but uh, there could be office gossip there could be a rude individual around you who uses the words to hurt others or something but just be careful that's it i don't see that too much let's see uh what i'd like to clarify is why is the knight of cups in reverse why is the knight of cups in reverse here the magician you have opportunities you have everything you have the skills you have the dedication you have the willingness the power everything okay you have everything to make things happen but the point here is that there is one thing where is called an ability and then there is the capability okay you have a lot of career opportunities around you but the problem here is that there's that unwillingness to take those chances okay you're wasting your talent and that's all because with the knight of cups in reverse here i feel you're someone who you know is not being able to confront the boss or not being able to confront his senior about what's really going on okay that's a lot of moodiness at work you know you're trying to avoid a confrontation like i said in the past because you want to maintain peace or you just don't want to go and create a scene whatever right but if something's not making you happy you better go and talk about it you have everything that it takes you know to make things work out you have the talent you have the gift of the gap then why not okay <clears throat> Tell me what is this Ace of Swords? Three of Pentacles in reverse. See, uh, there is some kind of clarity that you're looking for. Okay, probably the people that you're working with, right? These people you're not getting along with. Okay, but this is people you're not being. There's a lot of stress and frustration among the colleagues. Could be a lot of office politics that is really, really affecting you. And at this moment, all you want is clarity. You just want to know what the truth is and. you want a better environment to work with okay you want clear communication you want to focus but again i'm getting more of like you want clear communication but what's stopping you is that there's office politics like i said right you're not being able to get along with people at work someone's either these people it's a one sided situation you're not being appreciated for the work that you're doing or this is just one partner or uh, one colleague you know who's taking up um all the load <clears throat> and the other partner has to suffer something like that see something's making you walk away you're you have a very stable job very stable career but you're literally choosing to leave something stable and you're walking towards your happiness that's what i'm getting so the money may be good here that's why you're very resistant on moving forward or letting this go but probably there's office politics and you don't just you just you just not feeling it in this business or career <coughs> tell me what is the ace of cups in reverse <coughs> What's the Ace of Cups in reverse? Why is this on this? I'm just. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse here? Two of Cups. See, like I said, right? There's something going on between you and a business partner. Okay, this is a business partnership gone wrong. Maybe earlier it started out very well. Okay, fantastic. You had good relationships with your colleagues, or this was a very helpful business partnership that has gone wrong. Now all of a sudden your business partnership has completely become combative. Okay, you guys don't see each other in the same way. There's a lack of respect. You don't share the same goals. Okay, and that's why you feel the environment has become very hostile and very unfriendly. That's your biggest issue out here. So probably you were doing very well with your boss, and all of a sudden um, something happened, and you guys just don't share the same values anymore. <clears throat> Tell me, uh, what is the Eight of Wands in the near? Um, yeah, let me the Eight of Wands in the near future. Seven of Swords. See, 
this is all i mean things are going to come to a halt probably because you're trying to run away from the situation is what i'm getting rather than facing it okay that's sabotaging okay that's sabotaging the uh, entire workload okay you know that probably what you need to do right now is face the situation you need to talk and have like an open dialogue <coughs> But I think what you're trying to do is you're trying to get away with it. If you properly face your issues, it'll be better. Maybe if there's some kind of confession that you need to do, okay, then that's something you need to do. But right now, instead of facing the situation, you're trying to be sneaky, okay? You're trying to uh, scheme something. You're trying to be um, strategize, okay, of how to go around with the situation instead of facing the situation head on. You need to face the situation head on. And because you're not doing it, right? That's where your stress and everything is coming up. It's all showing her. Why the eight of swords in reverse? You need to get out of your head. That's your biggest blockage out here. If you get out of your head and uh, you open your mind up, you'll see that there was a solution right in front of you. But till now, you refuse to see it only because of fear. Okay. The tower, something needs to happen. Probably you're scared that you're going to lose your job. Okay, because the, because the tower is, it, it, it is a loss of job. But again, it is also um, lessons learned. There's something that you need to learn, okay? And probably you probably could be someone who is an escapist, okay? Who tries to run away from the situation. And instead of being in an uncomfortable position, you'd rather shut off, rather keep quiet and keep bearing the brunt, okay? With the Knight of Cups in reverse, like I said, right? Instead of opening up. But... With the tower here, I'm definitely seeing someone who needs to open up, okay? Otherwise, it's going to be a big, huge lesson for you. Probably you're not learning your lessons. And uh, maybe whatever it is, right? Maybe you need to release yourself and you need to let this job go. There's a lot of workplace disruption going on, okay? This could be a sudden jo job loss, okay? And that's why you're avoiding the entire confrontation, you know? You're not happy here at all. Not with the colleagues, not with your manager, not with the uh, boss or whatever, right? But... You're still trying to uh, find a way out of it, you know, so that you can still stick in this uh, stable job because you'd rather stick here, okay, in an unhappy situation rather than go out and take a risk of finding something new. <clears throat> Tell me what's the page of swords in reverse. Tell me what is the page of swords in reverse. What's this page of swords? Ace of Pentacles. Looks like you do have something new coming up, okay, with Ace of Pentacles here. There is a new work, a new business opportunity coming in. But your problem here is that you're not sticking to something, okay, for any more longer. You need to do a lot of research before you jump in head first. Either you're doing the research, but you're keeping things to yourself, okay. You're intelligent. You're an ambitious person, okay? You probably have this idea of a new career or a new job or a new business. But the thing is that you're keeping, you're very unsure about it, okay? So yeah, there is a new opportunity which is going to be presented to you. But it's going to be up to you if you're ready to be open to receiving it. If you're overanalyzing things, you're doing the research, but there's no action, then there's no point of this gift, okay? The Ace of Pentacles, it's presented to you by the universe. It's an opportunity, okay? So if you're going to take it, you take it. If you let it go, it, it goes, okay? This is going to take a lot of hard work. <coughs> Something's going to take a lot of hard work, okay? You're going to have to put in a lot of effort if you want this. But if you're not going to take action, it's not going to be worth it, Yeah? So that's what I have for you. Uh, I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.